Uh, can you and Dr. Adelja talk about the vaccines and whether people should be afraid of them? How to evaluate vaccine efficiency, the differences between Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, I guess Moderna and other vaccines. I can give you a little vials. If you give me one second, I'm gonna grab it. I'll show you a vial. Just let me step away for one second. I'll show you the vials. Um, so no, they're nothing. I mean, I, I, I think of them as souvenirs because they're so cool. This is the, I don't know if you can see the lights coming up. That's the Pfizer vial. This is the bigger, the bigger Moderna vial. Um, uh, no, I, 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 these are like treasures. I was so excited that I got these souvenirs. No, you shouldn't be afraid of these. These are, these are. I mean, just like how you, uh, you're on, hold up your iPhone. I'm gonna, this is what I'm holding up. This is a great piece of technology that I think you shouldn't be afraid of. The, the data is very, very good on these. The phase one, two, and three in animal studies, these are very safe vaccines. You do get side effects from them. That, that's normal uh, when you get a vaccine. That's how you know your immune system is working. But I don't think you should be afraid of them. This is the solution to this problem. And when you look at the, at the, the trial data. There were no serious adverse events that I was that, that were worrisome. And you have anytime you get a vaccine, there's a risk benefit calculation. And the, the, the risk of these vaccines is so outweighed by their benefit in the face of a pandemic that's killing thousands of people in this country every day. So I do think these are are, are nothing to be afraid of. I, I think that they they look the, the side effect profile is very similar to other vaccines and there's no reason and, and they're so elegantly made with mRNA technology that there's not something to they're not something that I think biologically is going to cause a problem uh, based on what we know about the biology of the, the ingredients in this. I mean, there are risks for allergic reactions and we, we have people sit there for 15 minutes afterwards to get those, those allergic reactions are, are easily treatable. We've not had any fatalities from them. So I do think these are not anything to be afraid of, but they should be embraced just like a, a 5G iPhone. How do, how do you... Um compare the Pfizer, Moderna, and then the Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson is a different technology, right? Yeah, so Pfizer and Moderna, these two are, are very, very similar. They both use mRNA technologies, almost the same ingredients. They're both two doses. The Pfizer, you get, you get a second dose in three weeks, the Moderna in four weeks. The Johnson & Johnson uses something different. It uses a, a common cold virus, uh, an adenovirus. And what it does is it engineers, they've engineered that adenovirus to express or deliver the spike protein from the coronavirus. So it's another vaccine platform, but it's using a, vi a different virus to deliver the, vi the, the, deliver the the payload basically, and then your cells make it. So it's it's a little bit different, um, and it's something that they that Johnson and Johnson had done with their Ebola vaccine as well, uh, which is something they're also working on. So this is a technology that people have been trying to use. So it's a little bit different, but again, it's not surprising that it went fast because it is a vaccine platform. It's not the old way of doing vaccines. Uh, so it is something that will probably have a little bit differences, and maybe for people who are allergic to these or had allergic reaction. They may recommend that eventually, but we'll have to see what, what happens. And, and hopefully they're, they're going to be even more. Um, AstraZeneca, Novavax, there's a bunch coming. So we're going to have a menu. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you 
even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.